What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and today I'm really excited because I'm doing something quite new. So for the longest time uh, my audience has been asking me for some high quality Revit families. It's really hard to find really good families for Revit, especially the ones that look really really good, that have a high level of detail, high level of quality, uh, and uh, so far I didn't really have a good solution for them. But uh, starting from today I've actually Actually teamed up with a couple of Revit content creators who create these really high high quality Revit families within a with a really high level of detail uh, and those families are now available on my website so as many of you know uh, I have a website balkanarchitect.com it's going to be the first link just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above uh, now on this website uh, so far I have been posting all of my Revit courses uh, there is over 120 hours of content there, uh, so if you want to learn Revit, it's a really good place to start, uh, and if you want to get to that advanced level, also it's a good place to uh, get started on that. But now, starting from today, we have a new tab on the website, so if you go up on the, the little navigation bar, now we have Families tab, and if you open that up, I have a page which now features uh, five family packs. So uh, these families, as I said, they were created by a couple of creators that I'm working with, uh, but uh, I'm going to be uh, expanding that line. Of course, uh, we're going to be bringing uh, more families uh, to the website. And for each family pack, I decided to create some Revit content or some Revit videos, where I actually include tutorials on how to uh, customize these families, how to kind of get the most out of them, how to uh, utilize them in your workflow, uh, and just how to how to, to, to get the best results uh, when using these families. So uh, apart from just getting the families, you also get Revit content and uh, Revit tutorials on how to use those families. Now the five packs that are included uh, is a nine tree pack. These are really high quality trees. Uh, they're designed to work with multiple detail levels. Uh, they uh, give you really realistic uh, leaves and also it can be like just a naked tree and then it can have uh, leaves and it's it's really, uh, they, they look really nice, especially for your site plans, for your entourage, just the surroundings of your building, uh, they, they really improve that quality. Uh, next we have the glass doors collection. This is a collection of uh, really high quality glass door families. Uh, they are both swing doors, uh, bifold doors, and any sort of combi combination between those two. Uh, there are 15 families in the pack and uh, also I show how to utilize all of the parameters uh, and how to set everything up. There are tons of parameters, everything is customizable and the level of detail is just astonishing. Uh, moving forward, we have a uh, pack of eight figures. So this is uh, also nice for presentation, for uh, adding people, kind of for scale, uh, adding human figures. Uh, and these are really clean, minimalistic human figures. I really like the way they look. They're quite elegant, uh, so uh, they look really good on your renderings. They're not uh, going to be a sort of too much. If you add kind of realistic people, it might take away from the design. It might uh, be a bit too much. So these are really clean, kind of aesthetic. So I really like them. And then finally, the last two packs are uh, Revit car family packs. Uh, both packs contain uh, five uh, different cars. So in total, we have 10 different cars. And you can also get uh, both packs together for like a discounted price. Uh, again, these cars are a really high uh, level of uh, detail, high level of quality with tons of customizations. Uh, you can customize like the license plate, the, the wheel rotation, you can turn on the lights in night renderings, which looks really cool, uh, and uh, you can customize the rims, uh, you can customize the color, and so much more. So uh, all of these families, as I said, are really high quality and all of the all of the uh, tutorials are included. Uh, now here, if I jump into Revit for a second, uh, you can see I have kind of 
created a little uh, project in Revit where I have placed uh, some trees here. Uh, here we have some car families. Here we have those figure families. Here we have those doors. Uh, so uh, this is what you get. Uh, they uh, change from uh, different uh, detail levels. So this is like a coarse level of detail. Then we have the medium uh, level of detail, which is of course going to give us a bit more detail. And then at fine level of detail, we get uh, even more especially on the trees they uh, are quite different from each level of detail uh, one quick kind of uh, thing to note which i find really cool and uh, I, I think it's kind of a nice little detail nice little touch are the falling leaves on this tree so they look really good in renderings especially if this tree is perhaps kind of a little bit in front of the building for uh, giving depth and perspective uh, the falling leaves look really really good and also if you don't like them you can just select it and then go to the family uh, or go to the uh, properties panel and here you have falling leaves so you can just turn those off if they are kind of distracting to you here you can see the cars as i said they are really high level of quality and also for these rabbit car families usually they look terrible uh, especially if i just go from realistic and kind of hidden line view uh, they usually have some sort of a mesh but in this case that mesh has been dealt with and the end result only gives you the lines that kind of uh, show the body work of the car so uh, again the realism is uh, quite astonishing. You can see that the, even the interior is modeled and you can see the interior in hidden line view with the, the glass is just regular glass so uh, that's why they look so uh, so realistic. Uh, then we have the, the figures here pretty straightforward I think they look really nice and also uh, I, I really like these in the course level of detail they look so cool with a little kind of uh, heads I, I, I really like this. And then uh, finally moving forward to the doors. Uh, these are the doors, as you can see, you can customize how uh, open they are. So you can just go here into the properties panel, scroll down and here you can customize the angle. Here we have uh, these bifold doors and you can actually customize the angle for both sides. So if I want to change the angle on one to, I don't know, like 40, I can do that. So just change that one angle uh, and it's just going to update see that one comes a bit closer in and also i just wanted to zoom in here so you can see and perhaps turn on the thin lines for this oops there we go you see the hinges i mean this is how hinges look in real life you even have the little screws i really love that level of detail same thing goes here with the lock with the handle uh, on the inside it's the same story so yeah, there we go. So it's the lock with a couple of screws. So uh, the level of detail is really high. And especially for these doors, even if you were using uh, some other software to render, uh, you usually you can't really exchange the doors uh, if you're using some external uh, real-time rendering software. So uh, having doors at really high quality inside of Revit is quite crucial uh, no matter what you use for rendering. So uh, this is why I feel like these families are really, really powerful. Again, uh, complete customization. If I select this, you can see just all of the parameters that uh, that are available here, all of the trim, all of the things that you can turn on and off, and then in the edit type, well, it's obviously even more uh, and uh, all of the materials for all uh, individual elements are customizable as well so if you're not happy with the way that materials look if you want to make it different perhaps tint the glass a little bit change the frame you can do that by all means uh, one more thing to add uh, to the to the uh, trees. This is something that's uh, really important as well. I don't want to forget to mention this. Uh, these uh, trees utilize really uh, powerful and really precise material mapping, which is uh, usually an issue in Revit. So if I just turn this to a fine level of detail, and then go to realistic. Let's wait for a moment. Yeah, and perhaps if I turn off the uh, just the edges here you will see how uh, how the material is mapped see how the little, uh, tree bark looks and then it's kind of wraps around all of the of the branches and then how uh, how uh, how the leaves all look really realistic same thing goes with this tree here if i zoom in 
see how that looks really realistic i i really like that it's uh it's, uh, it's something that it's really hard to achieve with uh, if you were just modeling a, a regular rabbit family by yourself it the, the materials usually are quite off so uh this is something that's uh really important to to mention uh, and then also uh, with the tree families and the cars and the figures you also get some uh uh, you, you get some dynamo scripts so and don't worry if you've never used dynamo it's actually super easy to use you just kind of include them in the dynamo player uh, i show you all of that all of the tutorials are available in the products themselves so if you get the families you get the whole tutorial how to use that and then these dynamo scripts are just used as any regular Revit tool. So you just uh, input all of the parameters that you want and then it places all of the trees or places all of the cars or the, the human figures and it saves you a lot of time. So there you go. Uh, as I said, uh, again, it's going to be the first link just below this video and also up in the uh, cards above. That's BalkanArctic.com on that little uh, families uh, tab uh, that's uh, that's new and as i said i'm going to be bringing more families so uh thank you for watching i hope you find these interesting uh, interesting and please tell me in the comment section below what you think uh tell me do you like these types of products would you like me to 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 bring more would you like me to search for other creators uh, that create these uh high quality uh rabbit families and bring them to my website as well so i'm interested in hearing your uh, thoughts about all of this so uh, thank you for watching this was a uh, just a little introduction video and i'll obviously be back with my regular revit tutorials in a couple of days thank you for watching and have a nice day Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.